2021 production. Today we're gonna celebrate our three months production in the last three months, in the months of April, May, and June, so congratulations. Uh, many of you have done very well, but before we start, before we start, I'm gonna ask uh, our youngest selling partner here, millionaire's real estate agent, Michelle Leonardi, to uh, open up our session today with prayer. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, I'm so afraid. Father God, Entering this session, this banquet right now, to Lord, that you will take control, and we are here because of you, Father. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And I want to thank you, Rudy, Benny, and everyone in this place, and their family, Lord, that you may bless us more and more, and you may protect us with your blood, Jesus. We pray, amen. 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 Yeah, Michelle. So Michelle. in 2007, 2007, I got my real estate license. Going door to door, we started this team model, which is completely revolutionary. Back in 2007, there was no team in San Gabriel, right? We were like the only team about, and there's a lot of up and down. So I want to introduce you to help me kick off the events today, my business partner. Your chief financial officer, Miss Fanny Day. And the reason, the reason, you guys are like, wow, Fanny never actually. And the reason I invite Fanny today because today is a big milestone. As you know, there's a lot of challenges to 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 build a team, right? Especially now, our brokerage uh, focus only on helping real estate agents to grow and develop their own four million dollars GCI model. So today we are so excited. It's a big milestone for us to introduce you a big promotion. Many of you love your sales manager doing one-on-one, -on -one, right? She did such a good job. This person, I'm gonna introduce you. Uh, as you know, she really put the mission first, right? Put the mission first, put the best interest of you first above her individual. And effective August 1st, 2021, uh, Chelsea will, uh, is promoted to your, your home sold guaranteed realty chief operating officer, which means she's overseeing all of our ISA departments. She oversees the uh, VA department, the, the transactional, all the broker services. So I want you guys, please stand up and go crazy to welcome Chelsea Villarreal. Woo! Chelsea! So, a little bit background for, for those of you who don't know. Chelsea Villarreal began in real estate working in property preservation. She worked with industry leaders such as Bank of America, Ginny May, and Freddie Mac. She, she managed a portfolio of over 100 bank-owned distressed homes and, and helped in bringing them back into a livable condition. Chelsea moved into real estate tech space as an inside sales team for a fast-growing startup in Texas, where she was tasked to actively convert and nurture leads from the first contact until qualifying until close of escrow. Chelsea climbed to a director of offshore relations and managed a sales team of over 600 virtual inside sales team and also worked with over 1,000 real estate teams across the United States and Canada. Chelsea Filario become a founding member for one of the leading real estate lead generation and VA placement companies, working with partners such as Open Doors, Smart Seed, and Loan Depot. And we are lucky to have Chelsea Filario to lead our operation and entire operation to be the chief operating officer here at your home so guaranteed realty. She oversees our inside sales team. Uh, our, ISA uh, our ISA manager, VA manager, the brokerage services, and the recruiting department report directly to this position. So, help me welcome to Chelsea Delaria, which is the co host of today. Hey, Chelsea. So, Penny, do you want to encourage, uh, share with everybody? Most people don't know Fanny, right? But. Uh, every accounting, I mean, everything related to finances, she's, she works literally 20 hours a day, right? If, if you look at the email that she responds, like midnight and stuff, usually I go to sleep 
<laughs> when she's working at that's, night. That's 20 hours a day because 10 hours of the day is taking care of Rudy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Share with everybody what you do and then put a little comment about Chelsea. So we've been, I've been with Rudy since we were, what, underage? <laughs> so watching him really putting this company, like this is, this is his, he really puts this first in his life. Um, he puts God first, and then second is the company. I guess third is me, which is fine. <laughs> so I get used to it. So, so it's 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 quite amazing. I mean, to see him really putting you guys like you are basically the reason why he does this every day. He wakes up every day doing this. It's, it gives him a lot of encouragement. It gives him a lot of um, satisfaction just to see you succeed. Put it that way. So about a year ago. Um, we were fortunate enough to meet Chelsea. Uh, so Chelsea started as a sales manager position, as you, have, you guys have known. And throughout that 12 months, we I can really see him uh, really going the extra 10 miles. Like, or just his, her vision is just amazing of what he wants this company to be. So thank you so much. Thank you. You're great. <laughs> You're great, Annie. Okay, so your co-host today, Chelsea Villarreal. Okay, Chelsea, it's your show now. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I just gotta say I'm forever grateful for Rudy and Vinny. You guys are amazing leaders, and none of us could do this without you guys. So we appreciate your support and leadership so much. Thank yes. you. Let's take a picture, Vinny. Let's take a picture together again. So we'll remember. Uh, maybe Chelsea will meet us. Thank you, Chelsea. Congratulations, Chelsea. You can go see it or you can just see it. It's up to you. Awesome. All right, Rizzo. That's her name, right? Yes. Yeah. She looks so different. <laughs> she looks like a completely different person. Yeah, let's let's welcome our first keynote speaker today. We are special. We have two special guests, right? This person here, uh, I've known her since 2007, I think, when I first get my real estate license. She, she truly, for uh, she truly uh, believe in our core values. She truly see what we do in real life. So, so today I want to invite Sandy Roscoe, my friend, our friend, the executive director at San Gabriel Chamber of Commerce. 2015 California Women of the Year, Sandy Roscoe. <laughs> so I'm used to being the executive director, which means move the furniture, rearrange things for me. <laughs> thank you for being willing to do that for me. So good afternoon to all of you. And I want to say thank you so much for inviting me to be here today um, to attend this beautiful and quite impressive uh, Q2 event. And I didn't know, Chelsea, we're going to be celebrating this for you, so even more exciting to be here, very much. It sincerely is an honor for me to be here, um, to honor you, to congratulate you, and to say thank you to Rudy for what he has brought to this industry, but more importantly to the entire community, because it's not about real estate. That's not what it's about that is about the whole community at large, and that's what you've always made it about, and I appreciate that. When Rudy initially asked me if I would speak today, I of course jumped at the opportunity, because if Rudy asks something, I don't really think about it. I don't even check the calendar. I just say, sure, I'd love to, I'd love to, <laughs> especially if it's an event like this, which is always so much fun. But then, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, what did you just do? You really have lost your mind because, as you just heard, I'm the Executive Director of the San Diego Chamber of Commerce, and today was very exciting. We got to have our first in-person networking breakfast, and it's been the first since February 2020. That was our last networking breakfast, and today was our first one back. 
So I had to be at the venue at five o'clock this morning and get it all set up to welcome our guests at six thirty. And I thought, this is just I just can't do this. I can't do this. And then I called Rudy and say, I wasn't thinking I can't do it, Rudy. And you know, you guys know Rudy, he would have said, That's okay, I understand. But I realized I would regret that. And there's a song, a strong Christian song, which I'm sure most of you know, that um, I don't want to have regrets. And it's called What If, What Ifs. And I don't want to think about what if, what if I would have gone, what if. And so I thought, okay, I know I'm going to regret it. I don't want to have regrets. And so I'm going to be there. And I, I'm going to tell you, I was so thankful I did. And the interesting thing is the networking breakfast is something Rudy brought to our community a long time ago, many, many years ago. He brought this power breakfast to our community, and he it was one of the first projects he and I started together. And Rudy was just starting out. The baby hadn't even been born, and he hadn't had the first baby yet. And he had this power breakfast, power breakfast club, he called it. And he had one goal, and the goal was to bring the community together, and it had to be free. That was a big thing with Rudy because most of you know, if you're out networking, and especially when you were first started out, and you didn't have anybody that you could turn your expense account in to them and say, reimburse me, it got very expensive. And so Rudy said, we're gonna have this breakfast group, it has to be complimentary, and we'll see where it goes. Well, there were three of us, Rudy, me, and one other person. So we sponsored the breakfast, we took turns sponsoring the breakfast every month, and we started in his office. This is when he was with Colwell Banker. We started in his little office, and pretty soon it grew and grew and grew, and we were hanging from the rafters, literally. In fact, when we had one of our speakers, everybody, would, people were out in the parking lot. They would come in to do their introduction and go back out in the parking lot. And they were up and down the stairs, and I think Rudy's business partners got a little tired of our doing that. So we moved to Elks Lodge, where we are now. But Rudy always said it has to be free. It has to be a complimentary breakfast. And we did it. And to this day, we had over 100 people this morning, even though it was our first time back. We had over 100 people, and Catherine Barger was our guest speaker. She did an amazing job. We booked her months ago, months and months ago. And her office kept saying, okay, but we won't be open. And I said, okay, we will. And I said, we'll pray, we'll see, we'll be open. And we were, and she brought just so much to us when we were, but I gave you, I talked about you this morning, Rudy, and I was telling how, why this breakfast group came together and why it was complimentary. And so everybody gave you a round of applause this morning, even though you weren't but they did give you a round of applause. There are very, very few men that I know personally that I hold in high esteem. In fact, there are only three. There are three people that I know, three men, that I hold in high esteem. Because to me, to be in a place of high esteem, that's hugely, that's huge to me. And I set the bar very high, and there's a lot, there's a huge value on that. Who are those three men? One is Alexis Salamanca, many of you have met him. Alexis is the current president of our board of directors. He and I have been tight, faithful friends since 2010. And we have navigated shark-filled waters with the Chamber, with the City of San Gabriel, with the community. We were shark infested, but they didn't devour us. In fact, they didn't even really nibble. The second man is someone you know very well, because he's the attorney for Rudy, and that's attorney Paul Chang. I met Paul through Rudy many, many years ago. And Paul's sound legal advice has helped, I know he's helped Rudy and this organization, but he's helped our Chamber to avoid uh, many legal traps. And the reason I hold him in such high regard, and he was at the breakfast this morning, and I told him I was gonna be speaking today, and I said, I'll be mentioning you, and told him why. And he still can't believe that I hold him in high esteem. But he personifies integrity, honesty, he has a strong work, e work ethic, and dignity. And when I think about those characteristics, they motivate me to be a better person. The third man, no surprise, is our own Rudy Kasuma. I've known him the longest, since October of 2007. And like he said, he was just starting out. We didn't even have, we didn't have a baby, Kasuma, at the time. But Rudy had called the chamber, and 
I'd only been there for 11 months at that time. And he said, I'd like to know about joining the chamber. Well, not wanting to waste an opportunity, I said, I'll be right there. I jumped in my car and zoomed over. And it was really just an amazing first meeting. It was an incredible first meeting. And we talked about everything. We talked about the chamber, we talked about the city, we talked about Rudy's um, family, well, his wife, and his business. It was an amazing conversation, but Rudy kept bringing the conversation back to one fundamental question. And I remember that to this day, and that was October 2007 in his little office in Los Tunis when he worked with Paula Banker. And Rudy said to me, what value would the chamber bring to my business? More importantly, he said, what value would the chamber, what tangible value would the chamber bring to any member? And that, that so stuck with me because it, he was very emphatic. It wasn't just about his business. He said, what tangible value is there? That question that he posed to me in October 2007 formed the basis of how I began to run the chamber. And it formed the basis of how I evaluate everything to this day. I did not realize it at that time, but Rudy was challenging me that day, October 2007, to second mile service. And I didn't even know about second mile service and beyond. And I'm not sure he had a name for it back then, but that's what he was challenging me to do. Back to the three men that I hold in such high esteem. Upon reflection, what do these men all have in common? First of all, they're very strong believers, and that's probably the core, that's, that's my core value. I start from that point, and they're all strong believers. But these three men epitomize your five core values, and they encourage, challenge, and they work to empower those of us close to them to do the same, and that is the key. Whether you realize it or not, everyone's sitting here, I'm not sure you do realize it, but having a leader, a mentor, and a captain who holds you accountable. And when he started holding me accountable, he joined the chamber that day. And from that day forward, I knew he was holding me accountable to be able to tangibly say what value I brought to him, what value did I bring to any business that joined our chamber. He, hold, he held me accountable, he holds you accountable, more importantly, he holds himself accountable to walk the talk, to never settle for mediocrity. That was never okay with Rudy. No matter what we did together, no matter what we did, mediocrity was not okay. And to refuse to be satisfied with, that's okay. If you said to Rudy, you know, it was just okay, in his mind we failed. That was a failure. To say, it was okay. It was like, no, that wasn't. And I realize it's a huge blessing to have that kind of a mentor, that kind of a captain, that kind of a leader, and it is rare. What is even more rare is to have a leader who models every attribute that he encourages us and works to develop in us. He holds himself to an even higher standard. That is what continually excites and inspires me to reach out and keep connected to Rudy and anything he's doing. Whatever he's doing, it just excites me to be part of that. It is the team concept. And I really had never, ever heard anyone talk about a team concept when it came to real estate. And this is 2007, and I remember it so well. And he talked about a team concept, but he talked about a team concept in everything we did. What is part of the team? What is the team gonna do? How are we gonna help the team? That has been a passion of Rudy's for years, and is, it is at the core of what he and I have been stri striving to accomplish in San Gabriel, Chant San Gabriel Chamber, and your home sold for guaranteed realty, and beyond. <clears throat> Seriously working and moving forward as a team to always look at everything we do and to question it. How am I truly making a difference? More importantly, am I making a difference? Every day to say to yourself, am I making a difference? Not just, it's okay. What did I do today to lighten someone else's load? 
Did I brighten even one person's day today? Each one of you sitting here today, you have phenomenal opportunities set before you at your own soul guaranteed loyalty. And having Rudy as a captain, as a leader, as a mentor, I'm not sure you realize the phenomenal opportunity that is. The challenge is to never take your eyes off the goal of being a team player. Never make your day and your life better without helping, encouraging, and inspiring all those around you. And it's not about what they can do back for you. And that's what, one of the things I learned from Rudy. It's not about what they can give back to me. It doesn't matter. They can give nothing back. What am I doing to still help them? Rudy, I thought about you as I listened to Pastor Joseph Prince on Sunday. And I almost texted you and said, watch this, watch this. But you can still watch it. He was preaching on Daniel. He spent a lot of time explaining how when Daniel found favor with the king, because he was able to recount the king's dream and then interpret it, he found great favor with the king. But the very first thing Daniel did, the very first thing, was to make sure that his three closest friends also found favor with the king and were blessed. He cared about those three friends more than he cared about going to live in the palace with the king. And I thought about you, Rudy, because you've taken all of us and you have helped us. You come back and you say, okay, I learned this. How can I bring this to you? What can, how, how can I help you grow? That has been my experience with you, Rudy. You always want to make sure we are looking for ways to constantly grow, to improve, and to tackle new challenges so that we can flourish and thrive, sure, but it's really in order to build a firmer foundation, a stronger, more vibrant community for all. Rudy, you introduced me to Worthy Cause Marketing. I never heard of that before, but you said we talked about Worthy Cause Marketing. It was investing in what really matters. I'm grateful beyond measure for your heart of compassion for our many nonprofits in our chamber and how you have come and joined me to help make their lives better and for the work they do. I'm thankful that you care about our small business community here, that's my passion. Not just here in, in San Gabriel Valley, but beyond. You care about our small business community and you demonstrated that. That's one of the things you taught me too. You can't do lip service. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna show that you deeply invested in them? Well, Rudy was one of the first people that jumped on board helping to create a brand new chamber uh, website. We had the worst website, but it wasn't even a website. It personified junk. It was awful. And we found someone that could do such a great job and went to Rudy and he said, sure, I'll do that because he saw the value. He didn't say how much was it. He said, what is the value? It was always, what is the value? And if you go on our website now and there's something called finditinsangabriel.com, You'll see that Rudy's picture is there, but that's because he was the per per very first sponsor because he saw value. He saw that it could help our businesses and our nonprofits that could not afford that kind of advertising. He saw how much it would help them, and it has helped them a lot. And it was always the, about that. What can we do for them? All of you sitting here, all of you at your home, so guaranteed loyalty, are part of everything that we do, everything that we try to build empowering and building our community so that it can flourish and thrive. And when I see the community, yes, my chamber office is located in San Diego, but that's just the building. We really are everywhere. And I sincerely hope that each one of you feels very proud of the work that you are accomplishing. The Lord says that his people perish without a vision. Everyone sitting here, you are helping to build dreams and you're helping to give people the vision of how they can see their dreams become a reality. But please remember, there is strength and power in numbers, and you are accomplishing more and changing lives more as a phenomenal team. I encourage you to keep up the outstanding work. And I say with the Lord with faith. Well done, good and faithful servants. All right, Chelsea, let's uh, 
Today's uh, your celebration. Thank you, Sandy, for your kind words. And yeah, Sandy is right. Your business is designed, your business is for others, right? So the reason we focus at your home zone guaranteed realty to help you to grow and develop your own team is, is so you can positively impact your the community around you, right? So right now we have how many, Chelsea? Yeah, I think uh, 17 teams. Uh, from San Diego, Sacramento, right? The, the whole idea is that for every single one, teams within your community, the question like Sandy brought up, do you really make a difference, right? Because it's not about you and making both loads of, both loads of money, because at the end of the day, as you guys can see, uh, it's, well, it's, it's, a, it's a proven model. But at the end of the day, you and I, the time that we have here on Earth is limited, right? So while we are here on Earth, like how many lives can be impacted? So we are using our business, we are using our business just as a tool, as a vehicle to positively influence the community around you. That's why we do what we do. And the San Gabriel Chamber obviously is just an example of what we do here locally in San Gabriel. But I want you to, when you hear what Sandy was talking about, I want you to start visioning like, okay, how can we impact my local community? Ron is from uh, today, we have the top 30 in 30 different locations. The question will be how can you possibly impact La, La Quinta, for example, if you are around, bro, right? La Quinta. Uh, I've never been to La Quinta, but that's why I was like, La Quinta. <laughs> right, so that's why we want you to be successful. All right, so let's get started. Just remember, your business is for others. Your business is for other people, man. That's why, uh, that's why it, it's your duty. Success is your duty. Success is your responsibility. Because if you are not diligent, then you are cheating. You are cheating from your family. You are cheating from your community around you, right? So that's that's when you when you see it that way, then uh, excellence is the only way to go. Okay, let's let's start the celebration. We have highly top 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 numbers here. Can you imagine over three hundred million dollars? One of productions in the last 90 days. That's amazing. So let's let's go fast because we have a lot of people here that we want to recognize. So Chelsea and I, we're going to go as fast. But when we call your name, I need you to come here. I want everybody to stand up, go crazy, a run of applause, right? Because, and then when we call you, we're going to present your awards and I need you to share your story, right? Share your story. Uh, share your story, uh, what's going on in your personal life, professional life, financially, what does it mean for you to, because we want to always inspire and encourage other people. Uh, the last 90 days has been very challenging for most businesses. Never mind real estate, in any businesses. However, you guys in this room, you did extremely well. Later on, you're going to hear from our keynote speaker, Mr. Steve Delviaga. He flew all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, and you know what he said? He looked at me like, Hey man, this is a real, this is like, this number is serious number. Is this the last 90 days or the last 12 months? I said, man, this is the last 90 days. <laughs> so, so, okay. So let's get started, Chelsea. Let's yeah, go. absolutely. Awesome. Well, yeah, we're excited to celebrate everybody that's here today, everybody that's made our top 30-ish, uh, you know, team members that have just knocked it out of the park these last 90 days. We do have a couple team members that weren't able to be with us today, so we do want to recognize them for all their mm -hmm. hard work. Um, so starting off the pack, we do have one of our amazing team leaders, Lucas Smith, who was not able to make it. He did uh, 1.8 million in sales volume. Lucas Smith, you are watching this video. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. 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 Hey, I want you guys to send a text message. Blow his cell phone. Hey, Lucas, congratulations. Everybody, text him now. Right, go crazy. Make blow, blow his cell phone up, Lucas. Uh, so following along with that, we have uh, one of Lucas's OSAs as well too. So we have Isaiah. Isaiah had 1.8 million as well in sales volume for Q2 as well. So congratulations, we Isaiah! Woo, Isaiah. <laughs> Same thing. Cell phone. Blow his cell phone. Blow up his cell phone. Awesome. And then uh, one more uh, attendee who was not able to be with us today is one of our team leaders, Robert Medina. So Robert, I know, is in Tulum enjoying the. He's in Mexico season. vacation. <laughs> I saw on Facebook, did you see, uh, Robert is like somewhere swimming with his girlfriend, I think. Congratulations, Robert. Robert, congratulations. Awesome, all right. Hey, you guys, seriously, please send a text message to Robert Medina. Right, I want you to blow his cell phone. 
Awesome. All right, so for our first attendee who is with us today, we wanted to recognize Derek Sun on the Freeman Wayne team. So, Derek, what's your story? Like, who is Derek's son? Look, in the last 90 days, five million or so, can you share a bit about your background, your story? Are you always born a top producer? Uh, uh, yeah, well, before this, I was a insurance claim adjuster for uh, State Farm. And, um, you know, uh, Freeman was a you know, long time friend with me. Like, we always uh, been talking together. So, uh, uh, very odd opportunity that you know, we get back together, you know, we're having lunch with other friends, and I was scared of my job, and right? he's like, oh, I guarantee you make hundreds of <laughs> So I, I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's do it. Well, that's, that's, how, that's how I get in the company in like, three years ago. So, you know, uh, he will uh, fulfill his promise uh, in three years. Uh, hopefully, like, he's keep going to uh, make it happen for the next month. Uh, Years to come, and um, you know I've been um, getting the training from the team. You know, um, getting the training from the Rudy still remember like three years ago. Every day, eight o'clock in office, I had to drive from Ontario to here, like one and a half hour drive. <laughs> Thanks for the pandemic. I don't have to. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I don't know why. I don't know why it took COVID for us to leverage technology. So for the longest time, all of our training is live in person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Zoom is not new. I thought there was a new thing. It's been around. We just never used it. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I got a lot of training and you know mastered the you know fire and cyber system. And um, first couple of years, um, majority of my transaction was from um, the. Uh, Team. Like all the leases acquired from the Rudy and Freeman, I say, making appointment. And this year, uh, making um, a big transition that a majority of my deal was actually generated by my own. So without you know the, the training, the you know the material that I can leverage from the team, um, I've never imagined that I can do that. After all, like, before this, I don't know. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Derek. And one more thing, you guys. Derek said Freeman promised 100000 a year, and today is still the first six months, and you already broke the 100000 a year, right? So, so this is here at your home, so guaranteed realty, like Sandy was mentioning just now. We don't believe fulfilling the promise. You gotta exceed the expectation, right? If you promise somebody it's gonna make 100000 then this guy better exceed it. Right, so now you're gonna you are on track to double that. And and remember, Derek, as a brand new agent, you realize that this is a net income. If you go to the National Association of Realtor website, it says the average real estate agent's gross, not net, gross commission income is nine thousand nine thousand dollars GCI a year. And you, your net income, because this is after the 50-50 split, right? Which is, that's what our, our competitors cannot attack on the integrity of our system, but they attack on the split. But, well, at the end of the day, Derek, you like, hey, show me the money. <laughs> right? Just open up your bank account, right? So, so we are proud. Derek, absolutely have no experience in real estate as a, what did you say? Insurance adjuster. Right? I asked Derek, what is an insurance adjuster? And that's basically the guy behind the scenes, right? Consumers never see him. Consumer, because when you get into a car accident, you guys, this is the guy that argue with your in with your with the lawyer. And stuff like that. <laughs> so 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 I like to say if Dara can do it, and obviously that's not a people person for you know he never deal with people. He's just dealing behind the scenes. So if Dara can do it, anyone can do it. So I'm gonna encourage everybody. Let's take a picture. Congratulations, Dara.
Congratulations, congratulations. Let's move on, move on. Awesome. Congratulations, dear. So our next honoree is one of our team leaders out in Orange County. So we wanted to uh, recognize Zenek. He did two Zenek! say it quite often, <laughs> but um, the journey when I, you know, joined the company, uh, I had no business at all. Like, uh, as you know, um, I won the Quantum Leap Award a few months ago with Craig Rocker. Uh, I still kind of cannot believe it because um, two years ago when I went to that uh, conference, I had no business. I never sold a home. I had a one uh, potential client, which then turned into the listing uh, at the same time that I joined the uh, conference, but um, no business whatsoever. Then I joined, I joined your company. I struggled at the beginning because it's a lot of um, knowledge to suck in and to really understand like what's going on. I just had a conversation with Jeff. Uh, Jeff Pittman, he's in the year in the business like 30 plus years, and he was telling me the same. Like, you know, I knew all the stuff because I'm one time in the business, but you still learn so much. So it was like an overload here, but in six months, I kind of get it together, and then you know, started um, selling homes and closings, and um, in the last 12 months. Can still believe how much money I, I, I made and how many people I helped to sell and buy homes. So, thank you so much for your leadership. You know, I am grateful. I'm praising the company. I'm praising you on every video I do on Facebook Live now. I never was on the Facebook Live before, but since I joined the company, I'm like, hey, Facebook Live. Because uh, I, I see you, like how you do it and how you. You don't have to be like afraid. Just, just do it, right? But uh, what I want to say that um, I want to thank you for you know showing us um, how to be leaders because um, I know how you are teaching us, and then you give us the power to teach it in the in front of the others. So you basically, um, I see it like little army you have. You have little soldiers and then you know some of these soldiers become lieutenants and and they they are really leaders in their communities and it's not easy task and I wanted to thank you for that because you encourage us my confidence um, went really high. Uh, you know I didn't believe in myself at the beginning I can even sell home. And now I'm teaching other agents how to collect their fees and all that. So thank you so much for that. And I just want to say one more thank you to one person, and that is my wife. Uh, without her, the first year in the real estate, I didn't make a penny. Oh, okay, I did. I did I made 15000 but I spent so much money. We had a savings together. And uh, at the beginning, she wasn't questioning, but how the ma months went on, and I didn't bring any money home. She was like, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> then I joined Rudy, one hour drive from our place. And she was like, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I was like, yeah, trust me. This is just a few, few more weeks, months, but it will happen. And um, you know, she's the reason she was bringing the money home. 
she was the reason who kept this going. She just had a belief in me, and I wanted to thank her for that. And I also want to say that that just giving an idea. When we came here, I told her like what's going on. Mm, that they are top producers, and she just looked at the list when we walk in, and she just <laughs> see me at the bottom. And she said, "You have a work to do. <laughs> you have a work to do." So, that's the environment I live in, so I'm pushing, and I hope to see you at the top. <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys. Oh, hold on, hold on, Tanek. You know, Tanek, Tanek really, uh, Tanek is like the really inspired. Have you heard the saying, winners never quit, and quitters never win? Yes. Like this guy, literally making like ten thousand dollars, whatever, but he keep on going, keep on going. Your first six months, you have no results. Right? But I remember in the office, there is no actually logical reason for you to come to the office. He's in Orange County. I don't know why he drove all the way to Rosemary. And I remember I saw you in the office at 10 o'clock, 11, midnight, in the office doing whatever he's doing. I don't know. Right? I think you almost gave up. Right? But you stick a little bit longer. That's, that's, that's what success is all about. Winners never quit. So this guy, uh, right now, he's making more money in a month than when he was with Century 21 the entire year. But can you imagine if he quit three months ago, he would have been done. And now you go back to the, whatever he was doing when he was with Century 21. So, so I wanna make sure uh, the, so you have that, that, that drive. You know, you have that drive and nobody can teach you that, you know, for you to keep on having the faith, right? What is faith? Faith is you, have, you believe in something that you don't see. So if I tell you, there is a chair right here. It doesn't require faith. Well, clearly the chair is here, right? So your wife also have faith in you. You have faith in the system because when 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 Zenek was in the office for six months, make absolutely nothing. There was no chair, but he has the vision that hey, one day I'll make it. You keep on going. You keep on going, and you sell. You are a good salesman, right? You can sell it to your wife for two years making up. Anybody who can convince their wife to stick for two years making nothing, that's a good salesman. <laughs> so whatever you sell it to your wife, well, that's good, right? Because typically, uh, people are not gonna wait that long, right? So, and I wanna congratulate your wife for having faith in you too, right? So that, uh, thank you, Sarah, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Hey guys, if, if I forgot, please remind me. <laughs> Congratulations. We, you know why we keep on taking pictures? Because we're going to do press release on you. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, congratulations, Steve. Um, okay, our next uh, attendee, your honoree, um, also couldn't be with us today, but we did want to recognize Christina Trong on Lynn Trans team. So congratulations, Christina. She did 2.5 million in total. Christina! Send her a text message. The people that's not your send her a text message. Right now. Okay. Awesome. Um, so next up, we wanted to uh, recognize one of our top listing agents on one of our top sales teams. So Miss Sunny Wong, we want to Sunny, ten million dollar producer. Everybody, welcome, welcome our ten million dollar producer, Sunny Wong. <laughs> Congratulations, Sunny. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. I made it. I think I didn't make a lot of sales as uh, uh, much as Q1 because I think on Q2 um, I help a lot of the new buyers and sellers. I spend more time. Hopefully, I can close my deal in Q3. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna interview me? Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Sunny, 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 you want me to interview? <laughs> <laughs> Sunny wants to. Okay, Sunny. So I noticed you 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 are very successful. You are one of the top agents with Kohler Banker. But then I noticed. Even like last year, since last year until now, right? In the middle of this coronavirus and stuff like that, I noticed you always focus on showing homes. I see you in the office showing homes every day. You're like, and then you never discriminate the consumers, meaning uh, you treat the people who's selling a $5 million home the same way like somebody who's buying a 500,000 home, it's the same way like somebody looking to buy like what, a 200,000 condo, right? So question is this, how do you, how do you have that mindset that number one, obviously you are not working for money. Uh, jokingly, me and Chelsea joking like, man, Sunny's car is more expensive than the house that she's selling. So obviously, she's not working for money. But it's kind of obvious. Uh, 
But I'm curious though, because you never complain, you never complain the price is too low, or you never complain the distance is so far away, you just did it. So my question to you is, like what motivates you, like why you do what you do, and you work seven days a week, and you do it with joy. How do I know? I can see you are smiling, I can see you are excited and stuff, but so my question is, what drives you, what motivates you, what, like, you understand the thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I think this is my uh, lifestyle. Uh, I like hang out with people. I like uh, uh, meet people. And especially in the real estate, uh, every day I met different buyers, sellers, all different personality. For them, for me, it's like a big challenge. And uh, I always hang out with my best team members and my best friend. Also, uh, for the company, uh, I like the environment. For people who always around me, they always have like good heart and uh, um, positive attitude, uh, the passion for work. So no matter what, whenever I walk in the company, I feel um, happy. So I, that, that's all, just, you know, I just like my job. Uh, I think uh, sell houses is my passion, is that yeah. right? And uh, uh, before in my old company, I always working for myself. And uh, I never compare if I can work in these whole teams. I, I be happier, right? And uh, before I always do um, the sales by myself, like open house, all the paperwork I do, all the clients is in real. So now after uh, Freeman uh, introduced me to this company, um, I think this company, um, the teamwork is really um, fit me, fit my uh, personal style. And uh, um, when I came here, I feel different. It's uh, all the people around me who can help me uh, doing the open houses. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like it, you know, it's like a party. And then, uh, when we have a party, when you're happy, you know, all the client come in, the buyer come in, you know, we can close ask Yeah. That's my, that's our deal, right? And uh, uh, all the TC, they always help me do my paperwork. Uh, I, I say they always um, help me follow the lead and give me the new lead. And in this moment, I have more uh, time to concentrate my buyers. That's why I really enjoy it. So in Q3, I hope I can sell more deals, close more deals. <laughs> and what I wish, if I have time, I can bring more uh, good agents as me, as our teams. Enjoy our teams, join our company, we can service more better. Yeah, you know, you know what I like? So what, what you've been doing, not only you are selling yourself, but you're actually sharing the message to the other agents. Hey man, there is a, there's an easier way to sell money without giving up your personal life to do it. Because now you just focus on one thing, going to a buyer and listing appointments because everything else has been delegated. Yes, yes. yes. Congratulations. Thank Sunny. you. Thank you. Sunny Wong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, the picture. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, congratulations, Sunny. Alright, congratulations, Sunny. So next up, we have another team member from the Freeman Wing team. We have Tom Liu, who did 2.4 million. Tom Liu! Tom, look at this guy! Woo! Okay, Thank you, Rudy. Congratulations. Oh, look at that. You're a pro video. Oh, oh, Share your story. All right, all right. Um, so, um, I just, well, well, for a, a lot of guys who don't know me, my name is Tom. <laughs> and uh, uh, I joined the Freeman team uh, like last year. Um, I was, um, before that, I was doing uh, import export. Um, I've been doing that for almost 10 years, which I was very successful. But one thing that comes to mind is I see the selling of my industry. I feel like, okay, this is what can, like I did everything in my industry for 10 years, this is the maximum I can do. What, what else I can do, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fail another, I feel like I can do more, but I have a ceiling on my industry. So I was, I was talking to my wife, my wife said, hey, you wanna, I will have a lot of friends in the uh, real estate industry, so you probably wanna try that. I was like, okay, let's see. And then I took my real estate task, but I wasn't very seriously about it, you know? Um, I was, I passed the test same time with Derek. I just, in case no, uh, anybody knows about me and Derek uh, know each other for a long time. And, um, so he took the test and then he joined the Freeman team and I will still work as a full time, you know, in the corporate. And then 
Later on, I see Derek progress. He's doing pretty good, you know, in the first year in the in, 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 in industry. So I was like, well, I was talking to him. I was like, hey, Derek, how do you do it? You know, I mean, like, guy, you're like, you, you come from, you know, uh, insurance background and uh, you don't know nothing about real estate. How come you do it so good? And then he's like, oh, he's telling me about Rudy's company, how they, you know, generate leads for the, you know, the OSAs and stuff like that. I was very interested, you know, so. I made a decision. I was like, okay, let's try this. Give me, give me, uh, give me one, one year. If I can work this, I'll, I'll continue to. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. If I can, I'll just you know go back to my own old job. So I quit my job and uh, I joined the freelance team. Um, so I started last year. Um, it was uh, difficult for me because um, um, I would I didn't know the industry at all. I don't have no customer leads, nothing like that. So, and I don't know nothing about real estate. So that was very difficult for me. And uh, then I kept attending Rudy's um, you know, training. Um, from start that, I was, I was getting better and better and better each, 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 each day, you know. So um, um, this year especially, I feel like I learned a lot from my teammates. Uh, especially I want to shout out to, you know, Freeman and Derek. They, they've been helping me on all those all those years and uh, every, every step of it, I really appreciate it. And I always, I always appreciate my teammates too. They, they're always there for me in questions, any problem I has. You know, they're always there for me answering my questions. Um, I, I also big shout out to Rudy, you know, because he's the mentor to me. And uh, especially uh, last, my last year I done with uh, uh, Ar uh, Arvid, with one dollar thing. <laughs> yeah, that was that was different because we we can you know we be teaching we be we go through his tree a lot we we know how to do it but we actually do it it's kind of difficult because there's in quite a lot of details you know what I'm saying so it was not, not easy as you know when Rudy and Michelle speaks it's actually we do it it's actually the harder but Rudy he he teach me every step away he told me how to do it you know so I was very successfully helped my customers sell that a lot of money for them they was very happy and then they wrote a zero uh, you know zero code uh, comments for me too you know so I was happy. So I really thank this, you know, this team. You know, I really feel like I can do more, you know, in coming years, in coming days, you know. So, and I will thank everybody, you know, encourage everybody to do their best, you know. You know, uh, before my speech ends, I just want to. <laughs> all right, all right. So everybody, come and stop. No, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Tom actually brought up a good point. The reason we train every day, everything we do, our currency, our measurement of success, what did he say just now? The five star reviews. You cannot work for money. Money, I want you to look at money just like a trophy, like a certificate you put it on the wall, just to keep up scores. You know, but you are working for uh, five star reviews. You are working for a repeat business. Because when you work for a five star reviews, then the money will come. But if you work for money, it's very short sighted. Like it's not gonna uh, it's gonna it's not gonna last long term. So you got it, man. Congratulations. Oh, take picture. All right. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Tom. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. So, hey guys, when we introduce the person, I want you guys to go crazy. Okay, I want you to like, go wild. <laughs> awesome. So up next, we wanted to recognize one of our team New Vision team members who's done 2.5 million in sales volume. So congratulations to Edward. Edward! Uh, started with Rudy as, a, as his accountant, 
see a lot of Asians, you know, I'm, I'm always the one that's cutting the checks. I was like, oh, I think I could, you know, I would make some more money. So I got my license in 2017 and went all in. And thanks to Jesus and Rudy's and all the support. Um, this is my fourth year being, being full time as a realtor and uh, consistently making uh, pretty, pretty soon uh, money and help a lot of clients. I'm super blessed and uh, yeah. Yay! Congratulations, Edward! Yeah. Congratulations, Edward. <laughs> Congratulations, Edward! So, Edward, you've been with your home store guaranteed for over four years now, right? You started as an admin, accounting, and then uh, and, and then you joined the sales team not too long ago. So, can you share with everybody if there is one, two, or three common traits of the people who are successful? What would it be? Like the com like what's the commonality of the people that are doing well? Because you kind of like when you are an admin stuff, you kind of observe what's going on, right? What's your observation? They definitely have a common. Uh, I would say they have really big hearts and a heart to serve others. They actually uh, put in the work and actually also have a passion to help either realtors or partners, especially the clients, and we also hire others. Yeah, and that's, I think that's all the common. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Congratulations, Edward. Let's go take a picture. Let's go take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Congratulations, Edward. Awesome. All right, guys. So moving on to our next honoree. So we wanted to recognize another team member who wasn't able to join us today, but we wanted to give a special congratulations to Karen Co. Karen Co. Congratulations. Karen. She did 2.56 million in sales volumes for the same Karen, congratulations, we're gonna mail your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for FedEx. Awesome, so moving on to our next honoree, we wanted to recognize, again, another team, New Vision team member, who's done an amazing job this quarter. He's done 2.67 million in sales volume. So congratulations, Ryan. Ryan! 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 Ryan. 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 Ryan congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just watch? <laughs> these germs, these people are spitting on it. <laughs> That's good. Chelsea, we should do that, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. We need to learn from Ryan here. Yeah, I'll be also in the for four So, yeah, first of all, I will, I'm really blessed to be here. This is my, you know, best year since I joined the team. I've been with the team for three years. Uh, I was in the same place as Santa when I joined. I have no experience in real estate. Um, Rudy taught me a lot, the team taught me a lot. I learned from team members. Uh, when I joined the team, I'm usually in the office like seven days a week. I've been grinding, but you know, uh, I was kind of discouraged in the beginning because I didn't have any sales. Uh, when I joined the team, um, there's a lot of new agents with me at the same time, uh, but they were closing within the first you know, a few months. Um, for me, uh, it took me a while to close my first deal. It took me about six months. So I was in the, the whole system, I was like, you know, losing faith. Like, you know, I, like, am I gonna make it? Um, but then, you know, like, I told myself, hey, you know, if, if I can make it here, I wouldn't survive out there. Because here, we have team support. We have a lot of trainings here. And if I, come, I couldn't make it here, I wouldn't survive out there. So I give myself a whole year. Hey, I'm gonna do my best, see how where it takes me. So I stick with it for a whole year. And my first year, after the six months, uh, my these couple coming in. Um, so this is my first year. I'm really blessed to be here. I would like to thank Rudy, Benny, the ISA team, Chelsea, the whole, you know, the Levy team, PB and Emmanuel. Um, also, you know, the um, ISA team always book me appointment. Right now, we have a lot of partners from Zillow, uh, um, Realtor.com. I would like to thank every all the corporate partners as well. Yay! Thank you guys. Yay. Congratulations! Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Ryan! Ryan, Ryan uh, what did you say just now? It's your best year ever in the middle of this uh, pandemic, right? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Ryan. Okay, let's take July. a picture here. July. Uh, yeah, we are still not finished yet. Right? Because we are still in July. Oh, yeah, this is still true. your first six months. That's true. If this is your best year ever, can you imagine by December it's gonna 
blow your mind. Remember <laughs> last year during the pandemic, I took about what, six months because yeah. I was scared because yeah. of COVID that you know we stay keep on going. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Yeah, basically Ryan last year when the first time Corona hit. Uh, he took a six months off, hoping that Corona is gonna ha uh, disappear. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't disappear. But yeah, we just have to be safe, right? Like what you did just now, put the, just wipe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go take a. Oh, sorry. Hey, congratulations, Ryan! Congratulations, Ryan! You have extra wipe, so I can keep on wiping. <laughs> That's a good idea. Awesome. So we're gonna learn, guys. We got a couple more oh. attendees who were able to join, so we wanted to acknowledge our next honoree, um, Alex Chan on Team New Vision, did 3.3 million in sales volume for Q2, so congratulations, Alex. Alex, congratulations, Alex Chan. Awesome. So next we have uh, another team member that wasn't able to be with us. She's on Lynn Tran's team. Uh, so we wanted to recognize Jessica and Lynn. She did 3.67 million in sales volume for Q2, so congratulations, Jessica. Woo! And then moving on, we have uh, Jonathan Chen. Woo! So Team 311 did 3.68 million in sales volume. Jonathan Chen! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come here, Jonathan! Jonathan! Jonathan. 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 But I need to thank you, Rudy. Because oh. basically, you implement the Yohong Soul system to us. So the system not only like uh, uh, teach us the fundamental stuff, uh, fundamental like knowledge about the real estate, and also train us to be a successful agent. So a lot of clients to, um, a lot of my clients like, when they met me saying like, hey, Jonathan, like, you look like a like, you know, experienced agent. But for me, like, I'm a new, you know? My, my license is like less than one year old. But how I can be like, you know, when, when people see me like this, but how, why? The reason is because the training we have in the uh, in your own zone, right? And uh, also I want to thanks for my um, team framework because everybody in the team is supporting each other. Uh, every week we have like a team meeting to share the story uh, and also like uh, um, tell the story, the experience for the past week. So we are learning from each other's story and uh, um, so it's basically prepare us to be better future us. Uh, the last I want to thank Freeman and uh, thanks for picking up my class like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> and uh, thank you for inviting me to the uh, Yohonso Big Family. So guys, let's go. Yeah. Woo! Congratulations, Jonathan, I remember, right, when Freeman first uh, inter uh, bring Jonathan to the office, Jonathan is still trying to take your license, remember? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. That's good. good job, Jonathan. Way Thank to go, you. Jonathan. Good job, 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 Jonathan. Good
good seasons, bad seasons. So every time when you close a deal, people, other company call you, hey Kevin, you know, interesting joining our team, you know, we got a really good system. I'm like, nah, no, it's okay. <laughs> I found my best system in, in team members. So uh, um, yeah, I just wanna uh, share a little bit of the, uh, the mindset. So uh, I've been a realtor for eight years, you know, not too long. Uh, but I work with a lot of uh, different buyers, sellers, all types of different people. I, I do flips on the side myself, so it's been really good. Um, so one of the things that I learned over the past years is how to really um, adapt your mindset to different scenarios where, you know, because there's, uh, you know, I've been going through I, I gone through like mediation, you know, I gone through a lot of things with different clients because everybody's different and as everybody in here, we're all top producers, so we've been through numerous different types of people and um, I think most of us know how to handle, but again, I just want to say uh, keeping a good mindset, I think it's one, one of the most important things mm -hmm. in order for us to uh, do good and survive and uh, prosperous, you know, in the future. Other than that, because because I have been I've been telling this to um, my new guys, you know, my friends who uh, joined the team recently. I you know they asked, hey Kevin, you know, like you know we, we see you doing pretty good. Like what's your what's your take on being a good real estate agent? I'm like, uh, you know, I, I give a thought for like one minute. I'm like, probably mindset management, you know, just to uh, have a do what we're supposed to. do and then just leave the rest to fake, God, or whatever you want to call it, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Kevin. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Congratulations, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, I'm curious. Did you hear what Kevin said just now? I was with your own soul guaranteed before and now I'm going to come back again. But, so can you share, like, what, what, uh, is there anything we could have done? Because we, we want to improve on retention. But, so you left. Because always the, the green always, I mean, what is it? The grass always looks greener, right? But then you explore the world and then you came back. Can you share um, what, that, that, that story a little bit? That, like what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I joined the team. I, I met Rudy the first time in the Chamber of Commerce back in 2017, I think 2017 or 2016, late 2016. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Because I, I, started, I started seeing teams on MLS. I'm like, when people start teams like you know what is this so I went I check it out I'm like oh, okay you know they gave me a lease that, that's good so that's how I joined um, so within two years I, I think the year I left was 2018 I did about like 46 transactions that year so it was really good I was really tired but you know it, it was good and then all of a sudden it gives you uh, it gives you this this, this this mindset because like I said, every time you close a transaction, people call you. Hey Kevin, you know you're doing pretty good. You want to join our team? You know, better split, better better cut, better yeah. better whatever. Yeah. They always have a reason. So I went away and I went to I I actually joined two three different companies yeah. uh, before I came back. Yeah. Right. So 2019 wasn't really good for me. So I'm like, I started thinking I'm like, ah, should I go back to read? Because because uh, I like. 2018 was the best year for me, and then 2019, 2020, the pandemic hit. So, right when I was thinking about that, you know, I did a, yeah. I did a deal with Freeman. So he's like, "Hey, what? Join?" Because because when when I left, I met Freeman. We didn't really talk much back then, but then we kind of knew each other. So I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a calling or something, yeah. you know?" So I'm like, sure, yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back, but you know, instead of coming to New Vision, yeah. I join Freeman, which I think is the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So to me, it's the same, and like I said last time, it's 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 a proven system. Doesn't matter if you're one year old realtor or thirty years old realtor. Yeah, that's you bring up a good point, Kevin. As we become more and more successful, there's a lot of temptation, right? There's a lot of distraction, right? Same thing with marriage. You know, when you get married, the longer there's all these shiny objects. So the, 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 the key, we need to stay focused, right? So, and that is a challenge. The more successful you are, the more difficult this thing is. Because the shiny objects get more shiny, right? So we need to, we need to remember. And what you're experiencing, I'm experiencing the same way. There's always these shiny objects going on. Temptation, right? So that's why we need, we need to remember why we do what we do. So we can focus on 
on course, right? Because the distraction is the one that keeps us off course. And so thank you, Kevin. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Kevin. Yeah, man. Which one do you think is more is easier? Think about it. Which one do you think is easier? If you only have $1,000 in your bank account, or if you have 10,000, or you have 100,000, or you have a million dollars, which one do you think is easier? People think, well, if I have more money, it would be easier. Well, there's a lot of temptation. That's what Kevin is saying. When he was selling one house, nobody called him. But once he's selling one house a month, a week, now everybody call him, right? Uh, attacking your ego. Oh, you are so good. Let me offer you this, all these shiny objects. And that's, that's life, <laughs> right, Kevin? The more you become successful, man, we need to be more, uh, we need to be more intentional. Okay, let's move on. Awesome. So next we wanted to recognize one of our amazing team leaders in the South Bay. So one of our newest team leaders as well too. So congratulations, Sonia. She did 3.7. Congratulations, Sonia. Share your story, Sonia. Share your story. Well, thank you. I'm a little nervous to be in front of everybody, but uh, it's been, uh, I've been here a few months, I guess seven or eight months. And uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Bob, my fiance, for his credit card. Woo! Because without it, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> right before I joined uh, Your Home Soul Guaranteed, I was really struggling and uh, trying to uh, just make it on my own. I was with a couple of different companies, uh, Century 21, Keller Williams. Then I went to a company that was 100%. And I thought, well, that's fantastic. I get to keep all my money, and for sure I'll, I'll do well there. Well, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> and then I joined Your Home Sold Guaranteed, and it changed everything for me. Um, it just it changed my life. So, hey Sonia. Hey Sonia. Congratulations, Sonia. You've done an amazing job. I worked so great for all your hard work. Way to go, Sonia. All right, guys, so before we transition into uh, some of our, our top, top team members this quarter, you guys have just done an amazing job all together. Um, we did want to recognize one more team member that wasn't able to join us uh, today. That's uh, Lynn Tran. She did 4.4 million in sales volume, so congratulations. Lynn Tran! Woo! Let's take a picture with Sonia. I, Sonia make me cry too. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm crying. I, I don't I mean, everybody needs to breathe real quick. I, I don't know why. Let's go on a second. Keynote speaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hey, Sonia, your story is not finished, but but that's going to be a different. Hold on, hold on. Another hold on. time. But the learning lesson is this. I think if I can understand correctly what you are saying is this. Having lack of money cannot be the reason of you to pursue it, right? So basically, if I understand what you are saying is, you are at the, financially, you are struggling. You could have found any excuses. Man, I couldn't afford the $300 a month investment, whatever, right? You could have easily do that, but you go to your fiance and say, hey, I need to borrow, basically, <laughs> right? And then, so so I think that's, that's called drive. You know, if there is a, in life, there's always challenges right mm -hmm. so and you can always find reasons to not we can always find reason I could have said well I couldn't do it because of my kids but what you did is that you you use the reason for that most people used to quit you use it to drive you so I think that's what I learned from you and then and then you kind of stop the story so I don't know <laughs> and then you start crying then you make me cry I don't even know why I'm crying <laughs> all right so let's just take a peek oh sorry Oh, sorry, we are all, we are all screwed up now, okay. <laughs> all right. Oh. Congratulations, Sonia. Sonia, Sonia, if you don't mind, Joseph is our awesome video team. If you don't mind, do that one-on-one -on, -one on video. We want to capture your story. Okay. Uh. All right, guys. So, like I said, before we we round up some of our top, top, top producers for 
for this quarter. Um, we have a very, very special keynote speaker with us today. Um, he is one of our amazing partners that has provided an incredible opportunity for everybody on the team uh, through the Rise Speech Lead program. He's provided us uh, with the partnership with Realtor.com, UpCity, that so many of our team members have just found incredible success in. So we wanted to welcome Steve Dale, uh, <laughs> he's the author of A Journey of Falling Forward, uh, SVP of the Net, or former SVP of the National Sales Manager uh, for Fidelity National Title Group, um, sales executive and assisting over 200 sales managers across the U.S. Steve also acted as the Chief Revenue Officer for the F&F owned technology, uh, which totaled a valuation over $1 billion. So welcome, Steve, we're excited to have you. Hey, welcome to How's everybody doing? Good. Good. Great. Good. Conscious. We're going to go fast and add value. But first, I knew a little bit about Chelsea's promotion, so I bought you a wallet. It's a beautiful coach wallet because it's big. Hold all your credit cards. Woo! So here you go. Congratulations. Woo! All right. So my name is Steve Delaviaga. I'm the founder and CEO of Rise Consulting. I've been in real estate 25 years. We have 497 elite teams in 23 states and 52 markets across the U.S. Uh, previous to that, I've been in real estate my whole life. I played professional basketball for 10 seasons. I was with the Lakers for 10 days in 1989. Got to play for Coach Riley, Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, James Worthy. Vladi Divac was a rookie and Jabbar had just retired. So, I am not very qualified to do anything, which is why my book, Failing Forward, is what happens in real estate. Because none of you, none of you, when you graduated high school, went to your mother and father and said, Mom, Dad, I'm gonna be a realtor. None of us. We all failed our way into it to great success. So I wanna give you some, uh, Rudy, who was kind enough to, he bought 35 books for all of you. They've been sent, I signed them all. The book is a great read, it's 65 minutes, and it's how, to take all the things that we know already work in this space and apply and adopt it so you can do it just a little bit better. But some things I want to say now, having worked with team leaders my whole career, leadership matters. Leadership in this space matters. This space has over $2 trillion put in in the last six years. It's changed more in two years, real estate space, than it changed in 15 years before that. And you are blessed that your leader is someone who looks to the horizon, sees what's coming, and makes sure he prepares himself, his business, his team to be ready to win. So I want you to think about some things. Quit talking about splits. Poor people talk about splits. Wealthy people talk about shares. Because this is not a split. When you spend $125,000 a month in technology, lead flow, another $125,000 in salary and training, you take your 25 years of it and add that to it, and then you allow a brand new realtor, like a Kevin, to come into the world and make over $100,000. That's a share, not a split. So I share with you 50% of the dollars, and all the risk is Rudy's. All the expense is Rudy's. All the, if it doesn't go well, he has to write a check for $230,000 a month, all of it is Rudy's. So we never say splits, we talk with our mega teams. We say, I'm willing to share 50% of everything I help you generate. And I won't charge you for our CRMs and our training and the lead flow and the network and my 25 years of absolute knowledge in this space. Does that make more sense? The other thing I want you to think about is, I heard Z say it, I heard Derek say it, I heard Kevin mention it. When you start being successful, the grass always does tend to look a little greener. Then when you get over there to the grass, you find out it's actually AstroTurf, not grass. <laughs> and then you have to come coming back. As someone who works with 500 plus teams in the United States, this is truly one of our best. I flew in here today for this event, and I'm flying back in about two hours, because it was important to me to recognize the amazing job that this group has done. And by the way, you're just getting started. Because you know what's happening now? Big lead digital media institutions, like Realtor.com, who's my largest client in the United States, like Ojo Labs, like Prime Street, like all these groups are saying, Steve, you were right. We don't need more agents, we need better agents. And let me tell you something, 
one of the best elite teams. We have three now teams, right, Chelsea? We have three teams total in our group. You're all in the top 25 out of 500. No one else is. So now, when I get leads, though, I was just, I was just called by Realty.com 11 days ago. They said, will you please open Hawaii for us? We've got an influx of leads. We don't have enough agents. So I told, of course, you know, the rock star over here, get a team in Hawaii so we can get this thing going here. But that's what's happening now. Lead people are looking for teams like us. Uh, I'm gonna walk through the book in, in brief summary. Like I said, I played college basketball here in Southern California. I was drafted by the Lakers in 89. I was there for 10 days. I was cut because I was too short, too slow, and too skinny. I didn't have a great time. I scored seven points against the Spurs when David Robinson was a rookie. That was kind of cool. <laughs> then I went to Australia and played professional basketball for 10 seasons, where today, 22 years later, I'm still the leading scorer in the history of the country. My jersey's retired there. And all of this was from a guy who was a 6'4", skinny, slow, white kid. But here's what I learned. I'm gonna go through the seven intangibles that guarantee success in real estate in particular, but also in life. First, and this is not tangible, because in real estate, we're lucky. We can fail our way forward, just having a credit card for three months and start making money and go, right? It's not our pedigree, it's not what's, you didn't have to go to Harvard. We make more money than most of your doctor and lawyer friends, true or true? Absolutely, and we didn't go to Harvard, we didn't incur $250,000 school debt and we can make more money. So my point here is the intangibles are the most important thing, not the tangibles. First intangible is we have to be transparent with ourselves. Wherever we are, we are today. The best thing about real estate is you can be someone who doesn't do a deal in six months and then become sitting here in the top 30. And I know you, if your goal's right, next year at this thing, I wanna be in that top 15. Then I wanna be messing with Freeman in three years and trying to take his butt, right? So now, that's how this thing goes, okay? So be honest where you are today. You are what your number says you are, good. That's it, I start here. Now, how do I get better? Because the goal is always going to be better. Number two, your voice has to be the loudest voice you hear in this space. Because in real estate, I can guarantee you, when Derek said he was going to real estate, all his insurance buddies were like, are you out of your mind? That's commission only. You're not gonna make it, you don't know anything. Who have heard that when you said you were going into real estate? Everybody hears it. Your voice has to be the loudest. Which means, hey, I'm going to figure this out. And I'm going to fall forward when I fall. I'm gonna get up, dust off, and keep going, and fall forward again, and that's okay. Falling backwards is not great, and falling backwards more than once is your fault. Failing forward is okay, because it's the job. So now ask yourself, I'm gonna hear my voice the loudest. I'm making this work. I'm gonna burn the lifeboat, so there is no plan B. Plan A is, I'm making this work. And once you get that in your mind, now going forward becomes significantly easier. Number three, there is Zero, zero substitute for hard work and a high work velocity. You gotta go to work in this business. It's a high work motor job, okay? I went to 